My husband is an entitled, privileged, ungrateful a hole. I swept, vacuumed and mopped the whole house today. White surface is clean. Did a load of laundry. I have an exam tomorrow. I am studying a highly demanding slash tech career to build a better future for my husband and family. My husband exploded at me and we had a screaming match because he has to cook most days and do dishes. He said he wishes I would say one day, don't worry, I'll cook dinner today because he is so tired of cooking and I don't understand it. Tonight, he actually had and cooked, I did as well as for the last three days. He works at the restaurant and always brings leftovers or something from there which he complained he did because if it wasn't for me he would just eat there and not bring anything. He says I never even lift a finger. I told him we can switch chores if he wanted and said why should he do anything? He works and I just want to work on school stuff and got very angry as always. He has a horrible temper and has broken things in the past punched holes in the wall etc. Like even cooking a simple dish is a reason to super scream and slam doors. He always overreacts and complains for everything. He is so lucky and privileged and doesn't see it. He is so ungrateful, I can't stand him. I can't stand that he makes me feel like I'm too sensitive and nothing is never enough for me because I wish he reacted accordingly to situations instead of blowing up all the time. So many people are really suffering in the world and all he does is complain for the littlest of things and blame the world for his shortcomings. Cooking is annoying because I cook all day because that's my chosen career, at least he has food to cook and is not starving. I have no money after covid shit and have a lot of rescue animals I take care of. How can I even leave? Of course. Now I'm crying and my chest feels like it had a hole and I can't concentrate on studying for my test. Sorry for the long post I needed to vent. Do you have children together? Sounds like a miserable relationship. We don't. I think it's for the best. We just have cats and even they freak out and hide when he gets like that and hiss at him. Yes, I feel miserable and crazy. This guy hates life, not cooking. I get it, catering hard. I cook 10 hours a day, hundreds of meals and I get paid. Best meal I cook is the one I do my partner when I get in from work. That is so sweet and kind of you to feel like that towards your partner. I wish mine felt the same way. Do you want to know why he screams and gets angry and carries on? Because he's waiting for you to say, okay just forget it I'll do it. Oh and also because he's an ass zero. Oh, what you do is you slowly start finding homes for your rescue animals. And once you have a home for each of them, find a place for yourself to go. You must have family or friends who can help you out until you get on your feet. Don't let him minimize the reaction his actions are causing. You're not too sensitive because you don't want to be around someone who is whining and complaining and bitching all the time. People like that are just fucking annoying. You can decide that you don't do annoying. You can decide that you're not going to be around someone that explodes at you. You can decide that you want to be with someone who's going to treat you with kindness and respect. You don't have any kids, this is the time to get away. Kids tie you for life. This is not the man you want to be tied to for life. So, what are you getting out of this relationship? When? Imagine a friend wrote this and asked your advice. What would you tell her? A few things to consider that your husband does. Punches holes in walls, broken things, bad temper says you don't do anything, gets really angry over simple things, screams and slams doors, doesn't believe in doctors or therapists. I am not sure how much more information you need than this. You would tell your friend to get out of this relationship. Listen to your gut which told you to post here and get out before it escalates. Another thing your husband does absolutely nothing. He is contributing nothing to your relationship. You're basically his babysitter. I want you to do a simple exercise, will only takes a minute. Look at all of his violent, abusive behaviors that you have mentioned. Give each of them a score from 1 to 5 bad points, tally them up, and subtract them from a balanced point of 0. That's going to end up pretty freaking low. Think about how if he wanted to be a neutral husband, not even a good husband, how much shit he would have to do and change. And he can't fix a simple behavior. I wouldn't wish this guy on anyone. You're in danger in your current situation. Find a way out. You boyfriend, 40 meters, is so upset with me, 38F, 
that I did anal stuff with my ex-husband and will not with him. How do I explain this to him, nothing has worked so far. Since this is anonymous I will go ahead and say it that my ex was a much better lover overall than my current boyfriend. But as you guys know sex isn't everything in a relationship and we were so incompatible in other ways. I also need to say that anal is not really my thing but my ex husband would turn me on so much and make me orgasm multiple times and it would loosen me up to where my inhibitions were down and I'd practically be begging him to do anal to me because I knew it turned him on so much. My current boyfriend found some old emails between me and my husband that we're essentially long form sexts about anal sex. He said that he'd always wanted to anal sex with his ex-wife but she never wanted to and it's always been a fantasy of his. I told him that it no longer interested me and at least once a week he either asks, prods or suggests we try anal. I've told him no in every polite way I can that I'm not interested but he seems to think that because I did it in the past, and spoke about it so graphically, I should be willing to do it with him. I guess my last resort is to tell him the truth but he already suffers from severe confidence issues related to my husband because my kids, 15 13, tell him straight up he's not as funny or entertaining as their dad. Telling him the truth about why no anal would devastate him. What what can I do here? I know everyone is saying things like dump him etc, and that is completely up to you. But as a guy I have to say if my girlfriend told me the reason she doesn't want to do something sexually is because I don't turn her on as much as her ex then that would probably crush the sexual part of the relationship for me. I would advise not telling him that because if you want to continue the relationship then that is going to cause problems and if you don't want to continue it then you will basically be hurting him more for no reason. I'd say just dump him and get it over with because he's clearly making you uncomfortable. Honestly can't even recommend continuing the relationship if this is how she talks about it and him. The whole environment is just feeding this. Dude's problematic but it doesn't seem like a great relationship. 1. Obviously, don't do anything you don't want to and don't let anyone pressure you into it. No means no. Period. He is 100% in the wrong for refusing to accept that answer and trying to emotionally blackmail you into doing it. 2. You wrote two detailed paragraphs about how mind-blowing the sex was with your ex and didn't list a single positive about your current partner. You obviously have zero respect for him and neither of you are satisfied with each other sexually. On top of that, your kids hate slash bully the guy and you allow it. Seriously. Why is this still going on? Is he super wealthy or something? Also, make up your mind. First you said anal is not your thing, then immediately followed that up with you begging for anal from your ex. I also need to say that anal is not really my thing but my ex-husband would turn me on so much and make me orgasm multiple times and it would loosen me up to where my inhibitions were down and I'd practically be begging him to do anal to me because I knew it turned him on so much. Come on, there is no way to ever explain this without completely sabotaging this relationship. He read your emails, and is now using that in sexual coercion? No ma'am, just no. Red flags be flying over here, triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post. Dude is a pain in the ass even without anal. You should break up and find a man you're actually attracted to. She isn't attracted to him, allows her kids to disrespect him openly and doesn't have a problem with it. Everyone is jumping in to defend this woman's right to choose, which is of course correct. But no one is reading between the lines. Everyone is jumping on his failure to turn her on as a problem for him to solve but she's the one who still wants a committed relationship with him. The chances that she's actually being honest with her needs and desires is basically zero. She doesn't love this man, she doesn't even seem to like him, and yet she wants him to support her and her kids. I can't even imagine the reasons. 
Is it okay to assist educating my stepdaughter on puberty and personal hygiene? Hi, quick one I need advice on. My stepdaughter is hitting that age. She stays with us every school holidays, and she is changing every time we see her. I noticed her being really self-conscious of quite a significant amount of hair under her arms not to mention B.O. I asked her whether she wanted me to take her shopping for a razor, creams, and I could show her how to shave. She seemed thrilled at the idea. She said her mother had never spoken to her about puberty or these sorts of things. I am happy to educate her but am concerned I am stepping on mum's toes doing this. I want to help her and offer support, but I do not want to step in where I am not wanted. Any advice? Edit. Obligatory. Whoa this blew up, and thanks for the awards kind strangers. I took stepdaughter shopping. She decided to wait to talk to bio mum about what razor she uses. She did ask me about skin care and feminine hygiene products, which we took care of. Dad went shopping and bought some fantastic books by Kaz Cook, highly recommended. Thank you all for the advice. XX. What does your husband think? Someone needs to do it. He doesn't think too highly of his ex. If the mom isn't educating her it's better to help her than leave her in the dark. Get her a book about it. Covers your behind as what did you teach and what did she read. But being informed, is the better long term outlook for her. Highly recommend the American Girl Care and Keeping of You both the book and the journal. I was a very shy and anxious kid and didn't feel comfortable discussing everything with my mom but these books helped me feel in control and prepared for the changes. 3 There are also some wonderful kits for first periods by certain brands, I think Kotex is one. But I personally would recommend reusable period undies BC they really are the easiest product to use. I think Thinks has a teen line and a starter kit, also some conversations about how body hair removal is a personal choice and nobody is allowed to make you feel ashamed of your natural body can be really helpful. I started shaving my pits at 12 BC dudes at school were rude to me and made me feel self conscious but I have sensitive skin and it always hurt to shave, stopped shaving at age 19 and haven't owned the razors since. What a great stepmom you are. My own mother was totally negligent about this sort of thing and I was desperate and humiliated about it. I had to beg her for sanitary towels etc and wasn't given money or toiletries for my personal hygiene. I was nearly reduced to stealing. When I had my own daughters I showered them with everything they needed. I would have loved someone like you to help me. You are very kind to want to guide her. I think you should do it, and there is a very good reason. Apart from her need for this type of assistance, her own mother is not interested and probably won't even notice anything different. So as your husband is on board with it, you and your stepdaughter can keep it between yourselves. Goodness, this is what I had hoped to hear in the first place, but really wanted a bit of advice and guidance. I think I will talk to dad more about it. The forum seems to think this isn't my place to interfere. I can hear the resounding sounds of. This is my daughter. In my head already. I do welcome more advices. Thank you. Talk to your partner, presumably your stepdaughter's father. He's the parent, he calls the play. Options are, no. That's her mother's job. Let her know that it might be time yeah. Please talk to her about that stuff let me talk to her mother and I'll get back to you. Yes, I did talk to him about it. He essentially said he is glad someone was able to talk to her about these things. I owe mum has five kids with four different fathers. I do wonder whether she doesn't have time, or perhaps siblings will educate each other. Thank you.